up, baby? It's Max here. I'm here with the brilliant producers behind Blueberry Eyes and so many other songs on the album, Ahmad and Roger. They're my kings, my sweet princes. They're legends. And uh, we're gonna break down how Blueberry Eyes was made. Let's start with the first iteration of just, a lot of you guys won't know, but we, we did so many versions of this song before Suga even jumped on. And this is how the uh, original chorus sounded. And I was like, I was so, I was like, this is it. This like, is it. I'll, I wanted everyone to just like party it up, but we all know that it did it. And then the second verse before Sugar jumped on is right here. We had a, an original second verse, which I think is out in the world for the English version. Sweet like a sugar high. Yeah, yeah, we paused. Yeah. It's so crazy. We just realized that, that we didn't even realize that it said Suga before Suga was a part of the song. It was just that meant to be. Now I kind of wish I kept the ad lib somewhere in there. <laughs> Sugar high. That's crazy. Oh, just crazy. after he says something, just Sugar high. It was an omen. I think we wrote this song probably like 75% through the album. This was yeah. towards the end. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. we had all that we had Love Me Less. We had. We had New Life, we had like a ton yeah. of the songs through our album. This one was, yeah, pretty Blue, close This one and Color Vision were at the like tail end. Very, very end. Very end. Yeah, I actually remember, it's actually, with the way this song started, I think with a lot of our sessions, like with, especially like Roger's like obviously a maestro. So our songs, like all of our other songs started with Roger just going, bum, Wait, show him, show him, Roger, where, where did it start, baby? Where did it start when he found the sound? Started right here on this keyboard with this, um, That was the first time we realized yeah. we were gonna do that, yeah. I, I love this voice memo so much that I almost didn't want to like professionally like yeah. redo right. it. I was trying to sell you just, guys on. You I was like, just do in. the voice memo and we're good. What we had to do here was I literally had to record all of them, right? So. <laughs> Later on in the next session that we open up, I went like individually chopped them and shit. Ooh. Yeah, I feel, I oh, think, I think we add, we you did, and you layered it with those too. That's right. Yep. Yeah. We were trying to think about what else to add onto yeah. the track, and there's these little parts in between in the hook where I put these sort of gliding tremolo strings. Yeah, can... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I like. Yeah. yeah, I like what you put on there. Kiss you each morning with strawberry skies. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. Cause I'll get so lost Hearing that in context. It's just like a bed. It was crazy because I remember, you know, you, you, you work on a bunch of different features, but it's never a thing until you have the vocals and you're listening to them from whoever's featuring. And I remember when I first got Suga's vocals. So this has been a big moment. We've been waiting for the BTS vocals to come in from my boy Suga. We got them, we got them in, baby. We got these, these vocals in. Cool. <laughs> Here they are. Suga rapping in Korean. <laughs> I don't even speak the ring, and I just sounds fresh. And 
And so this is... Yeah, this is what we do. This is the... We, Sugar sent me these vocals. I worked them into the session. He bodied it. He did. I think he it's really cool it. that it's just bass and a kick. Yeah. For the first half of it, and so it's it's big. his vocal is really like the main instrument in that verse. Mm -hmm. He layered it in a really cool he way. He turned. He activated the bars. <laughs> he oh yeah. Like, he went in yeah. on that part, which I thought that contrast was like, incredible. I, I kind of want to hear Roger play that outro. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you guys for watching. See you for the next one. Thank you.